Hi, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who are you going to end up marrying. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 6th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 7.44 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you were to finally guide it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Who are they going to end up marrying? And please bear in mind that this reading is only for those of you who are open to marriage, okay? Ooh, the star. Two of swords, three of cups. Similar cards from some of you are going to be marrying a, an earth sign, okay? These three cards came out in the earth signs reading, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Justice. <laughs> Justice came out too in, in earth signs reading. So for some of you, okay, if some of you maybe have already met this person. If you haven't met this person yet, maybe they're coming into your life, okay? And this could potentially be someone that you're going to end up marrying. So we've got the Star Justice. Justice is definitely a marriage card, okay? So the higher form of verse, it can indicate maybe this is someone whom was married before or was at least engaged before, okay, at one point in time. Um, the star, the death, and the nine of pentacles here. You're not going to be single anymore. For those of you who are single, single right now, then it feels like the next, next person you're going to be meeting is going to be the one that you're going to end up marrying, okay? Or at least engage three cups here. But um, the death here, this is a big change. This is someone I feel... I don't know why I'm getting this. This is someone who has some sort of an inheritance, money from like the family. Uh, could be a nepo baby too for some of them, okay? I'm getting because the star can indicate like celebrity or someone famous. And then another punk goes in one verse. Maybe someone dies with the death here in their family and leaves them money where they don't ever have to work again. I don't know, this is so specific. Yeah, it's not for all of you. I, sometimes I pick up on specific messages or energy and may not be for all of you. But generally, it feels like with a star here, this is someone that, you know, who takes a lot of your boxes. This is your wish coming true. If this is your wish, which is to marry a certain person, with a certain personality criteria, it, you have your own criteria. It feels like that's most likely what you're gonna be getting, okay? However, I've got two of swords and three of wands here. Uh, hmm. This could be someone. Mm. For some of you, that could be an overlap, yeah? It's like this person is gonna be somebody when you meet them, some of you maybe already met them, some of you haven't yet, then they could be coming in. When you meet them, they're already going through some issues with their current partner, okay? And there's going to be an overlap where they're not completely done yet with their person, and then slowly it transitions to you. So it's like the, the overlap that I'm seeing here, okay? Because two swords, three of cups, and three of wands, it can indicate like a third party situation. However, it may not always mean there's another person. It could also mean that maybe there's some external factors, internal fact or internal factors that could be, you know, getting in, in the way for the both of you to get married here with a justice to officiate things, okay? And the magician is in one first, and we've got the empress in one first. Hmm. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed. But I feel like you're the only person that they they want to look at, right? The star. 
because the star, that's one big star right here. Um, this is someone who is not even interested in other people. The moment, the moment both of you get together or got to know each other better, I feel like with the higher fun, I'm up first, four pentacles, I'm up first. This is someone I would say quite generous, okay? They have a very, this person has a very tight knit of friends, a group of friends. And the higher font here is in reverse. It still feels like maybe this person was married, could still be married, but eventually will divorce or separate from that person to be with you. Because the death here indicates that this person might, the person that you're going to be marrying, might have to end something in order to be with you, okay? And you will find out the magician in reverse. It will be revealed to you. And that this person has another person here. The Empress in reverse could be the mother of the children, father of the children. Yeah. So they might have to end that connection to be with you. Could very well be a third party situation, but let's see more here. Okay, very good. So we got the four ones and the justice. So this, these two cards indicates marriage as well, and the ship is sailing in soon. Three, three, three ones. So that maybe this will happen sooner than later. If it's not that, three ones can indicate distance. Maybe this person is at a distance from you, uh, lives far away from you, or an eight of cups here is in what verse. I see this person. When you meet this person, this person is sticking around. I don't see them like walking away from you. Um, but also it could be someone returning to you, okay? Someone that you may have had a history with in the past returning and both of you might end up making things official and then getting married. That's for some of you, okay? Not all of you. But we've got the Page of Swords, which is you. And then we've got the Nine of Wands here. Again, rules can be reversed, but I feel like you're going to be very careful. You're going to be quite guarded in regards to this person, if they're loyal to you or not. Um, king and the queen. So both, yeah, this is a partnership that, yeah, this is someone you're going to be marrying. Remember when I told you I saw there's a lot of similar cards in Earth Signs reading just now? So it looks like, and the king of pentacles here and the queen of pentacles, Looks like you're, the person going to be marrying is a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. If it's not those signs, they may have Earth somewhere in your chart, but also it can indicate commitment. One second. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. Um, yeah, it could be someone, if it's not an Earth sign, this is someone who is very committed, very loyal, reliable. Both of you going to build a life together, buy a house together, or move in together. Five of Swords, but there is something a little bit off here. I think it could be because maybe this person does have someone. Um, this person may have someone that you may or may not know of. Some of you, I feel like if you don't know Two of Swords, you will know, you'll find out. Um, there will be plans in regards of your person ending their connection with the other person. Unless that's you, okay? Unless it's you, like when you meet this person, you have someone else at the same time. And then you might choose the other one. And then both of you end up getting married. Yeah. That could be it, because the hangman here is in reverse. So there's going to be a sacrifice. Someone will have to sacrifice something. Someone. It feels like it is someone. I would say that this person is financially sound stable has a good job even maybe could own a house already could be a homeowner or business owner definitely financially stable if not financially sound because it's a king of pentacles so has money for sure 
maybe this is someone you can with an app and a close of first rely on uh, financially depend on financially maybe this is someone who is gonna take care of you okay financially and that's what i'm seeing here this person has a job that is very important with the justice here maybe they control certain things could be working for the government could be a lawyer could be a doctor could be it can be any types of profession but this their profession is professional <laughs> like it's important okay and people ask them for their opinion ask them for their advice ask them for their how do you say approval all right Gemini, Libra, and of course, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. For those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos and every time when I go live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Um, yeah, when I go live, when I do live, I usually do 12 individual sign readings followed by um, personal readings, which is free, one question per person. But if you were to send me super chat, I will bump up your questions. All right, take care. Bye.